Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss the SR20 thermostat mod. What it is, what's the benefits, and maybe if you should do it. So the QR25 has two thermostats, an upper one and a lower one. The lower one controls the flow going into the block and the upper one controls the flow going to the head. The upper one is set at a higher temperature than the lower one. Now why would we want to alter something that Nissan engineers I put a lot of time and money engineering and deciding what is the best way to run the cooling system. Just a reminder, those same engineers made the cup holders for the B15. So the issue with running two thermostats is that the block temperature and the head temperature won't match up all the time. The difference in the temperature and the potential of overheating kills head gasket. These cars have had an issue with head gasket. Your top thermostat right here, basically what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that thermostat altogether. That way the coolant going to the engine block is going to be the same going to the head. So there's not going to be a difference between temperature between those two. The next step is the bottom thermostat. We're going to change that out to a SR20 thermostat which kicks on earlier. So the thermostat really only truly sets your minimum uh, cooling. It doesn't set your maximum. So you still need a good radiator it's not there to fix an existing issue with your cooling system let's say you had 150 degrees you open it up the temperature rises right well if you got let's say a 180 degree thermostat it's going to rise 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 once it hits 180 degrees it's going to start shooting coolant into the engine but it's still going to be rising because it's going to take some time for that coolant to actually start catching up and cooling down the engine and bringing it back down. 160 degrees, it's going to rise, rise, rise. Coolant's going to start coming out 160 degrees. It's still going to keep climbing up a little bit and then it's going to level off and come back down. But your top height is going to be lower. Now, if your engine's already at 190 degrees and you open it up, 160 degree thermostat's not going to do you any good. It's going to be the same as running a regular thermostat. So it's really only a fail safe is when you're going from a colder idle into a hot situation quickly. So there's a lot of confusion on that, that people say that, you know, you can run a 195 degree thermostat, 180 degree thermostat, it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter if you're going from cool situation to a hot situation very quickly. Some have also said that your oil should be above 195 degrees, so you should have a 195 degree thermostat in there. Well, coolant temperature and oil temperature is not the same thing. Your coolant can be 160 degrees and your oil might be 200 degrees. It's not a one-to-one -one ratio there between your oil and your coolant. So how does this affect head gaskets? Well, head gaskets don't like heat and that's what kills them. So if we can eliminate much of the heat, then we can eliminate head gasket issues, or at least reduce them. I know I keep saying 160 degrees, but the SR20 thermostat is actually a 170 degree thermostat. It is not a 160 degree thermostat. The QR25 is a 180 degree thermostat. Just wanna clear that up. With thermostats, what you need to know, it is not a quick on and off switch. It doesn't just instantly open at whatever temperature it says that it's gonna open at. That's when it starts to open, that's not when it's fully opened. So when it hits that temperature, it is slowly gonna start opening and start letting cool coolant into your engine to cool the engine down. As your engine coolant cools down, it slowly starts closing back up. Next thing I wanna bring up is the thermostat brands. Should you go with Mishimoto? Should you go with OEM? Should you go with some Chinese knockoff? Well, the OEM has proven itself to be reliable. Mishimoto has proven itself to be unreliable. And so have a lot of generic knockoffs have proven itself to be unreliable. So it is worth spending the few extra dollars. Get the OEM. Don't waste your time and money on a cheap knockoff that could fail. Now we're gonna talk about actually doing the SR20 thermostat mod. The top thermostat, you're gonna take it out, gut it, and put it back in or just take out the thermostat altogether and just leave the o-ring in there and put it in place and rtv everything back into place without a thermostat that will keep your coolant temperatures even between the head and the block the lower thermostat which controls everything going to the engine comes out of a sr20 that is the model number right there 
and that is going to be a direct fit thermostat. There's no modifications required to put this thermostat in your car. Aloha. Peace out. Catch you on the next one.